Okay, guys. It is still a cloudy, gloomy day here in the end times. And bugs in a jar farm. Uh, and so I was going to do this rant uh, about Nigeria. Uh, and I actually did the rant, but for whatever reason, because I actually want somebody on the planet to listen to it, uh, I gave it uh, to that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles, so you can uh, you can find that one over there. So I won't repeat my my broken record. Y you know, uh, people who should never have been born getting their black asses uh, out of that shithole country of Nigeria uh, over to Honkyville while they still can. Good fucking God. Nigeria. What a fucking shithole. Uh, the poster child of everything that is a matter with this planet. But anyway, since I did that one, what are you already waving goodbye for? Don't get pooped on. Do not get pooped on by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You would not like to get pooped on by that dinosaur like that. So anyway, we're just going to... Uh, what should we talk about? Should we talk about... The Tinkle Bell. The Tinkle Bell. We know that all of you ladies hate squatting when you have to pee and hate hovering over disgusting toilets even more. Who has time for that? Yes. So here is your glow-in-the-dark female urination little gadget called the Tinkle Bell. But you can go find the Tinkle Bell yourself. <coughs> uh, you know, the Tinkle Bell, that's one of these, th you know, one of these things uh, where women stand up and, and, they, and they put this cup over their pussy and it has this little uh, <coughs> spout going out the end of it. I actually, uh, <laughs> uh, this crazy friend of mine in, uh, in Austin a couple of years ago actually got one of these things and I told her I wanted to see this thing in action and she had never used it so we, we were actually in the bathroom at Joe's Coffee House. Uh, so she walks up to a urinal. Uh, so she's standing, <laughs> she's standing there in front of the urinal and she pulls her pants down and she, and she situates this thing, uh, you know, over this little rubber cup. I don't know whether it was a Tinkle Bell or not over her pussy and she aims and, and, and she aims the little spout towards the back of the urinal and she promptly pissed all over herself uh, in, in the public bathroom. I, I, I mean piss flying everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, we're not here to talk about what could go wrong with the Tinkle Bell we are here to talk about what could go wrong with this story. This is apparently no trace of irony right here from Associated Press in today's mainstream media and anybody wondering why we're so fucked. Take it away, AP. <clears throat> Chemical treatment to be deployed against invasive fish in the Colorado River. <clears throat> the National... <coughs> 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 
Park Service, the National Park Service, so this is your tax dollars at work. Your tax dollars at work. <clears throat> the National Park Service will renew its efforts to rid an area of the Colorado River in northern Arizona of invasive fish by killing them with chemicals, hmm. the agency said on Friday. A substance lethal to fish, a substance lethal to fish, but approved by federal environmental regulators called rotenone will be disseminated starting August 26. It is the latest tactic in an ongoing struggle to keep non-native smallmouth bass and green sunfish at bay below the Glen Canyon Dam to protect a threatened native fish, which I guess is immune to this poison, called the humpback chub. I, you know, obviously the, the humpback chub has been some, somehow genetically modified like in the ear of, uh, you know, like in the ear of Monsanto corn to not be impacted by the fish killing chemical that is getting ready to get dumped into a tributary of the Colorado River. <clears throat> the chemical treatment will require a weekend closure of the Colorado River Slough, which I assume they're talking about a side stream. I'm, I'm not even a hundred percent sure if they're talking about a side stream. They're calling it the Colorado River Slough, so it might even be inside. Uh, anyway, a cobble bar area. Okay, the treatment will require we can or the Colorado River Slough, a cobble bar area, meaning a pebble bar area surrounding the backwater where the smallmouth bass were found and a short stretch up and downstream. So I guess they are, I, 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 I guess they are pouring this directly in to the Colorado River. A short stretch up and, up and downstream. The chemical substances were also utilized last year. I guess this was right, but so you know it was used last year, so I guess it didn't work as much as they hoped. So let's pour more chemicals uh, and more fish-killing chemicals into a river this year. The effort, according to the National Park Service, the effort will quote be carefully planned and conducted to minimize exposure uh -huh, to humans as well as desirable fish species. There you go. So they're going to carefully plan and conduct the experiment to only kill undesirable fish species not to mention undesirable invasive humans. Uh, which, if there had never been any humans, there would be no invasive fish in the Colorado River where there were none of these invasive species. Even when the, even the noble savages managed to live here for 12,000 years without putting the invasive species into the Colorado River. Honky made the mess. Now Honky is going to clean up the mess. All right. For those of you wondering how this is going to happen, quote, 
an impermeable fabric barrier. Hmm. An impermeable fabric barrier will be erected at the mouth of the slough to prevent crossover of the chemically treated water with the river. Hmm. And then, once that treatment is complete, another chemical, another chemical will be released to dilute the rotenone, the Park Service said. Yes. Um, anyway, uh, and this goes on and on. Uh, but they don't mention one person. Uh, they talk about all these environmental groups uh, cheering on getting rid of the smallmouth bass, but not one environmental group is questioning dumping a a fish killing poison into the river to save a fish. So we're going to leave it to the people in the comments. Here is Bev. <clears throat> Rotenone is toxic not only to insects and fish, but also to humans and mammals. In mammals, the acute toxicity of rotenone is moderate and widely varies between and within species. Uh, Jim, of course, <clears throat> I wonder what the unintended consequences will be. I guess we uh, will find out uh, soon enough. Did you realize that rotenone was the drug they used to uh, capture the creature from the Black Lagoon? Government wildlife folks always act as they know the fix for these type of problems, though it often results in something worse than the initial problem. Uh, clueless fucking morons. You, you, you know, every where you look. Uh, we have the National Park Service dumping poison into the Colorado River and they will fail absolutely miserably. They will not control the invasive species of fish and they will probably end up killing a bunch of things in the process. Yes. Little dog. What do you think? I'm gonna say pop. I think you should I think it's my dinner time. And I need to eat. Get out there and enjoy eating your toxic fish while you still can. My guys. <clears throat>